I'm Noor Halawani, and today I'll be discussing my thoughts about the audio wireless, digitally tuned diversity antenna distribution module, the DADM226, the digitally tuned variable. There's gonna be some positives, some negatives, and some deal breakers for some. This unit can do RF distribution and power distribution. The main attraction for this unit, especially the digitally tuned version, is the ability to select a very narrow frequency range to filter out your uh, RF signal. This helps you out in filtering out most of unwanted uh, noises that are spreading around you on set in the RF spectrum, which in return can protect you from unwanted signals and dropouts and other noises created by the camera or the follow focus. The unit accepts power from 10 to 18 volts using a 4-pin Hiroshi connector. Six outputs for six receivers and two inputs uh, to distribute two antenna signals in true diversity. And as you can see, an on-off switch. We can see there's three DC outs on 4-pin Hiroshi's controlled via software. To power up the unit, we simply switch on the on and off switch after connecting it to the proper power source. After powering up, you'll be greeted with a screen that's going to show you the current RF uh, filter that's been selected for the unit. This screen is going to show you the frequencies that you are using. In my case, since I'm using uh, block 25 and 26, this is what made sense for me. So anything else outside of this frequency range is unwanted noise to my system and the unit is going to filter that out. There are different kind of filtration that you can apply on this unit. The first option is the digitally tuned. The second option would be the wide band, which is from 470 to 750, and there is the narrow band from 822 to 832. And there's of course no filter at all. Each have its own use, each have its own benefits. But I'll mainly talk about the digitally tuned feature because I found out that once you choose digitally tuned, there is a new option, a new feature that's not mentioned anywhere in any of the manuals that Audio Wireless have on their website. And that option is the Distro LNA Gain. There's nothing in the manual that talks about this screen. So this is purely my assumptions. But on this screen, you can select how much gain you want to boost the signal you're receiving from the uh, antenna connectors that's hooked up to the unit and give them a little bit more juice that juice might be just enough to save the take from having dropouts or from going out of range. But if you're using this feature, you always need to be careful as you don't want to overload the front ends on your uh, antenna receivers. If you have an audio wireless system, this will make you very happy. You can power your receiver and send your RF uh, signal via the same cable. You just connect your receivers to these antenna outputs and you have power and RF. The power distribution is controlled via software. They don't have actual knobs or buttons, which is kind of a negative in my opinion, as it's not as fast, it's not as intuitive to power on off uh, those DC outs, but being able to control which one to be on, which one to be off is a good thing in my opinion. Now, active antennas needs power. This power is referred to as MHA power in this unit. Some call it phantom power, some call it bias power. It's the power you need for your active antenna. And this is my biggest problem with this unit. I had this unit for two years so far. And in these two years, it already went to the factory twice. And now I'm preparing it to go for the third time for the same reason. The power function in this unit to power up my antenna keeps failing me whenever I need it. So for a unit that's expensive, this is very frustrating and very high maintenance. I use good cable, never connected a cable to the unit while it's on, never connected the cable and antenna while the phantom power is engaged. So at this point, it's either I got the short straw in my unit 
or there is something seriously wrong in the engineering of this unit that they need to fix. Now, my overall thoughts about this unit. If I'm using passive antennas, uh, this unit is amazing. I can distribute power, I can distribute RF, all in the same box. Not having physical buttons or switches for the DC outs is kind of a bummer, but it's not something that I'm really bothered by. I can live with that. Another thing to keep in mind, uh, this distro is power hungry. Uh, I can totally feel the difference in the power consumption of my bag with it and without it. Being able to filter out unwanted signal on set is a godsend. Overall, I really like this unit. If it was not for my very negative experience with the biased power to my active antennas, I would probably give this a 9 out of 10. For not having physical buttons for the power distribution and for having 6 instead of 8 antenna outputs. My testing for this unit is not scientific by any means and unfortunately I don't have access to another unit to see if it's an engineering problem with the bias power to the active antennas or is it my lottery luck in silicon was very bad but that was my experience with the audio wireless uh, digital tuned distributor i hope yours is better and this is pretty much all i have to say about the unit and thank you for listening in